hello so in the last video we have completed login and logout so in this video we are going to use this login to give the access to the user that which uh, method we can access or which method we cannot access but without getting the login so uh, we are going to update update uh, user read user and delete user so uh, we have to update that method so first of all we will start with a you taking the input from user so we will take the uuid from user and also we will going to throw the current user exception because user can uh, send the wrong user uuid that is why we have to store that also with the exception same with the uh, read so we are not taking the integer id we directly take uuid so and we will just throw current user session that is exception and same with a uh, delete user id so we will do that also so i will just string uu id throws current user exception and from this we are going to implement three methods and updating that method so we'll just save this and we have to just change the implementation so in that we are going to change the implementation in the update method so we will just take the string uuid and we are going to throw the user uh, that is current user exception this so we are just going to copy that and we are going to just paste in the other method also and here also we are going to change that into string uu id same with this so we are going to change that also string that is string u that is uu id and i think yes, g sorry yes so after this we are going to create one method that will take the uuid and that will return the user so it is very easy to use that method in the all the other method so we don't have to write the same uh, implementation for every method so we are going to create that method so i will just give private because i am going to use that in in this class so private it will return the user get user and in this we are going to just take the string uu id and uh, to get the by using uu id we are going to use session repository so that will get our user so that is session repo dot find by uu id and we will just store that that is optional optional we are going to give current user session that is optional session it will return that optional session that is why i have store in the optional so i will just check that if that is present that is optional session it's present that means if the user is already present the user is present in our database so we were going to convert that optional session into current user session current user session equal to session equal to optional session dot get so it will convert that into current user session and after that we are going to get the user by using user repo so we are going to get that so to get that we have to use the user repo so user repo dot find by so we have two methods we can find the user by using email and also id so we have both in the current user session we can use any of one of them so i am going to i am going to use the id directly so i will just pass session dot get user id so it will get my user so i will just create a user that is optional user it is going to you return the optional user 
so i will give x null user and i will just return so if my optional user is if it is a present in the current user session that means it will also present in the user repo so there is no need to give the if and else condition so i will just return optional user user dot get so it is going to return that and if not so i will just return null so we have completed this method so there is no need to uh, create same method every time so we have to just use this method so i will just call this method in update also so i will just check that this dot get user from uuid so i will just save that in the user user 1 so it will be going to user 1 if user 1 is not equal to null then only it will going to update that so it will going to return that also and we have to just give one more condition that if user1 dot get user id equal to user1 dot get user id is same then only we have to update if not we have to just give the exception so i will just give else throw new current user exception that is user id is not same so we have to give that and if it is a null then throw new current user exception that is user is not present so we have to give the that exception and it in this also there is no need of this so we have to just call this method that is this dot get user and it will give me the user user and we have to just return that user if only when if user is not null because we have to check that if user is null then there is no need of uh, return that we have to just return the exception so i will just copy this to save my time and i will just paste here so it will going to give me the correct information so after this we have to just update this also and we have to delete that also so i will just call the method that is this dot get user is user user if user is not equal to null then only do the delete operation so to do that we have to call the uh, that is user repo user repo dot delete so i'll just pass user i will just return that user and also one more catch here so we have to remove that user from current user so that means that is present in the logout so i will just pass that method with the user id so i will just call that method that is this dot logout i will just pass uu id so it will delete that user and it will i think it will return the string so we don't need that so we will just uh, return the user and if not found the user so we will just re, uh, throw the exception i will just copy this and just paste here so it will throw the exception so we have completed all the implementation so we have to just save this so errors are remove all errors are removed 
we have to just change the in the controller also so we have to do that so i'm going to change that in the update we are going to take the input that is in path variable so i will just call path variable and i will give string uuid and also i will just give the information that uuid in the bracket also uuid and the comma uuid so it will update our uh, method so it is going to throw the exception so that is why we have to throw that declaration uh, you can do do that try and clutch also so i'm not doing that i'm directly uh, throwing the exception same with uh, this so here we are going to take in the string format so i will just give the string and so in the id we are going to use uu id and i will just change that to uu id and it is going to throw the exception so that is why we have to do that also we'll just change it also id same with the read user so we are going to take the string that is the uu id same with the uu id and it is going to uh, throw the exception that is this current user session i will just change this uu id uu id so it is done so we have to just save this so we have removed all the uh, errors and we have to just run the application and we have updated our application and we have to just run the application so it is going to run the application yes so it has run the port with the 4646 we have to just add our user that is coder sats i have given the name as coder sat password is coders and email is coders at the gmail.com and we are going to use the post with the add method so we are going to use that and i'm going to send the request so it is taking time just give me yes so it has given the user id is 52 so i think uh, i have created multiple users so that is why it is giving uh, user id is 52 name is coder sat password is coders and uh, email is coders at the rate gmail.com so i will just remove this and i will just use the post with the login and i will just send the request so it will give me what we say your uuid that is the this is the uuid so i will just copy this and i will just use the get method and i will just pass to the read and i will just after this i will just paste this and i'm not using the body so i will just also give the none and if we, i will enter the this so it will give me the my uh, user user id is 52 name is coders at password is coders and email is coders at the rate gmail.com i can also use the this request to put and i will just do use the raw data in that i have to just pass the user id that is 52 comma i will just change the name that is name uh, name i'm going to give its coders and i will just give comma and i'm going to update that so i will just click on update and send request so i think yes so read uh, why it is not what is not support okay method not allowed i have to check okay So I will just send again. Uh, I have to check once again. So I have changed that or not uh, in the controller. I have changed that. If not, I have to 
do that yes i have done that it is path variable uu id update yes uh, yes 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 we have to change that to update so it is give the error that is why so i will just send again it is going to update our request yes so it is giving me new request user id is 53 i think i have made the something mistake so i will change that afterwards so for delete also i can do that so i will just say enter the this there is no need this so it will going to delete that yes so i have to change that to delete also yes so i can just enter that it is, has deleted this user so we have completed all the request which is, has updated all the information also so thank you so